Welcome to our lecture online. Our next question deals with resistivity and current, essentially Ohm's law. And so let's see if we can figure this one out. Let's read it together. A conducting wire of length L, area of cross section A, and electric resistivity rho is connected between the terminals of a battery. A potential difference V is developed between its ends, causing an electric current. If the length of the wire of the same material is doubled and the area of cross-section is halved, the resultant current would be, and they give us four possible answers. So, in order to solve this question, we need to know two equations. The first equation, we need to know the equation for resistivity versus resistance. So we can say that the resistance is equal to the resistivity times the length of the wire divided by the cross-sectional area. The second equation that we need is Ohm's law that says that current is equal to V over R, the voltage over the resistance. So if you plug in this resistance, we can say that's equal to V divided by rho L times A. So we can see that the current is equal to this. Now the way to solve the problem would be to go ahead and put in the initial current, so I initial is going to be equal to V initial times the initial cross-sectional area divided by rho initial times the initial length and then we realize that the voltage and the the resistivity are not going to change so essentially we could say that I initial is equal to V over rho times the original area and the original length. Now we realize that the cross-sectional area and the length are going to change. So we can now say that the new current and let me write over here so you can see it so the new current I knew is going to be equal to V over rho, that doesn't change, but now the new area is going to be half the old area. So it's going to be one half I sub naught, because, oh, uh, A sub naught, not I, A sub naught. There we go. And for the length is going to be double, so it's going to be two times the original length. So when we clean that up a little bit, we have the new current, therefore is equal to one over four, times V over rho A initial over L initial, which of course represents initial current, so I nu is equal to one quarter the original current I sub naught. Now, let's see which of those four answers will give us this. And it looks like, here we go, we have this exactly the same as answer D right here because it's one quarter VA over rho L and so therefore of course we realize that A and L are the original A and L it's one quarter that and so therefore we can see that answer D is the correct answer. So this is a pretty straightforward one as long as you recognize that the resistance can be written in terms of the resistivity and you remember Ohm's law. Combine the two and there's your answer. And that is how it's done.